Hello. Say hello, Teddy. Hello, Teddy. Can't see you. <laughs> hello, Teddy and the cuddlies. And his, his jam has just got some of what I am today. Don't know why, but I feel shattered. How are you today, Teddy? How are you feeling? Good. You're good? I'm just getting the rest of his cuddlies that are escaped down the bed. Have some more. Who are you looking for? Mousey. His mouse. I don't want mouse on what? Yeah. Oh, let's not find him right now. We'll be here all night. <laughs> By the time you've rummaged the... Yeah, you've got a mousey that looks like that. So tell us what we're reading tonight then, Ted. Best friends forever. Best friends forever. And okay. I hope that doesn't eat us. No. Oh, like look at that. Him. Looks just like that. Yeah, because look, <laughs> they both have brown yeah. nose and they both have the same coloured eyes. They do look a bit the same, yeah. Alright, let's sit him up there then so we can listen. So he can walk. Yeah, so nice and look, clear. It's, it's nice and red for the list. <laughs> when little Ben moved to a new house, he missed his friends, Buzzer Bunny and Mouse. To make little Ben feel better, when he said, Write them a letter, little Ben wrote. Mouse, I miss your squeak. Buzzer, I miss your giggles. Wait, I missed the way your nose wiggles. 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 I hope that you all miss me too. That's why I'm sending this letter to you. Yeah, read it nice and clearly. Rush. Swish a rough. Swish a rough. Okay. A wind, rough wind blew. It snatched the letter and away it flew. Give it back, little bit cried. Swoosh! But he couldn't catch the letter, however hard he tried. Mommy felt very sorry for Little Bear. She hugged him tight and said, There, there! There! Swoosh! The letter blew all around and landed by Butter on the ground. Butter opened the letter from Little Bear and read all the lovely words written there. Bunny called Badza. I've got something to show you. Bunny read the letter and wrote some words too. Hello, little bear. It's Bunny. I miss you because you're holly and funny. Did you put Squeakle on? <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Who does that? Bunny and Badza ran to see Mouse. They tapped on the wooden door of his house. Mouse read the letter and wrote some words for his friend. I hope that our friendship will never end. <laughs> okay, just keep going. When he had finished, Mouse twiddled his tail. He said, let's send this letter through the mail. Mm-hmm. But Stork and the mail by were flying away. Oh no, said Bunny, we missed the mail today. Come on, said Mouse. Let's deliver the letter to Little Bear's house. He he got a compass and some tasty snacks but put and put them into the little into little bag bag sleeves. Mouse and his friends were ready to go when which way is Bear's house does anybody, anybody now? On the way they saw Squirrel in a tree. I know the way, he says, follow me. Keep going, never mind. <laughs> He's being slightly critical of the quality of this story tonight. But they we'll went up going. a hill and down to the bottom we now as mouse. We now as mouse, but squirrel had forgotten. They had to walk a long time that day until they met Fox and asked him the way. Fox wasn't so sure, so he called to bed. Do you know where Little Bear's house is? Have you heard? Meadowwood! Yes, kid, bitch, come with me. And she flew off towards a big old tree. There was Little Bear, who couldn't believe his 
Hello. He couldn't believe his hello. He couldn't <laughs> believe his eyes. Hello, said Bunny. Butter and mouse surprise. Little Bear read the letter and it made him smile. Thank you, he said. Please stay for a while. I want to play with you, all of you. Now I've got friends. Old friends old and fr new ones too. And new ones too. Well, Biz. Oh, when Little Biz's friends went home, he didn't feel sad or all, all alone. His friends were did every day, so he didn't feel bad about moving away. Little Bear thought his friends were very clever. He had no dubit. <laughs> Doubt. Doubt. I'll have a bit. <laughs> Why does he have a bit? Good question. No doubt at all they would be best friends called Trevor. <laughs> best friends Trevor. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought one of them was called Trevor. <laughs> no. Right. We are not very keen on that book tonight. No. No, why not? Who writes this sort of kind of stuff? <laughs> Four-year-old critic, never mind. Okay. Say night night, Teddy. We'll night find something else tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Well, Bye. That, that's not too boring. <laughs>